In this video, I am going to show you how to create submixes for different outputs in Unify. Now, Unify not only brings together audio from many different sources, but it also allows you to create individual submixes for a variety of different outputs. Now, these are listed up here in this drop down menu on this tab. Clicking on one of these will take you to the mixer window for a different output channel. What we're currently looking at here is the stream mix, which is the default view. The stream mix is intended as a mix to be sent to your streaming software like OBS, which would then be sent to whatever you're streaming to, likely Twitch. So ultimately, stream mix is what your audience on Twitch is listening to. If your audience is complaining that your music is way too quiet or way too loud, you can simply jump in here and adjust your levels as you need. Being the default view, Stream Mix is also where you will want to spend most of your time, as you can quickly mute and solo each channel using these buttons underneath each. You can easily delete channels from your mix by clicking the red X button above each channel, and you can also add new channels by clicking the plus button here. Next up is the headphone mix. This is obviously what you are hearing in your own headphones. Now, if you're like me and you prefer less of your own mic in your headphones, you can navigate to this mix screen and adjust as you need. The next output mix is chat. Now, this is the mix that is being sent to whatever comms apps you have routed to the chat virtual device. Or put simply, your teammates and your friends in Discord or TeamSpeak are going to be hearing this. By default, the only active channel in this mix is your microphone. All of the others are disabled. And this is so your teammates only hear your mic. They don't hear your gameplay, your music, your system audio, unless you really want them to. If you decide that you really want to play them a song or troll them with some custom-made sounds, you can easily activate these channels by clicking the icon at the top of each channel. Okay, next up is the recording output mix. Unify can record either stereo or multi-channel audio, and this is where the mixing happens for that output. The recording output is incredibly useful if you want to record the audio from your streaming session to edit later on in post-production. You might decide that you want to record all of your channels in multi-channel at Unity Gain, which is indicated by this thick line here. Doing this will give you the most options in post-production as you have a separate audio track for every single one of these channels. But if you know that you only want a single channel of audio recorded on this mix, let's say the gameplay audio from our game, you can easily deactivate all other channels until you only have one left. Next up is the monitor output mix. This is the output mix that you can route to speakers or outboard gear that you might have connected to your computer. Now, you might have noticed that in all mix outputs, except for the stream mix, there are these blue icons that appear on the channel strip. These help you to understand what is happening to the stream mix and how it relates to the mix that you are currently looking at. The blue icon next to the fader indicates the level of the stream mix. This is so that you can compare the level on the current mix, our monitor mix for example, versus what's happening on our stream mix. Now, clicking on this icon will quickly snap the fader of your current mix to match your streamer level output. The blue indicator below the channel allows us to link the assigned fader to its stream mix version. This way, whenever the stream mix fader moves, all linked faders from all of your other mix outputs move as well. So just to show this off, let me show you what I mean. Stream, if I'm moving these channels here and all of the other ones are linked, which they are, you're gonna see them follow suit. You can also easily create an offset by making sure that the fader is linked on another mix like the headphone mix and creating the offset by moving the fader either above or below the stream mix position. Now, whenever you move the stream mix fader for that channel, you'll see that the fader will move but the offset will maintain your level differences. So if I jump to stream mix and I turn up the chat, you're gonna see when we go back, it has maintained that difference between the two level markers. And that's how to create submixes for different outputs in Unify. Be sure to check out the links in the description below to learn more about how to use Unify.